Right, so I think it's been less than a month ever since I finished this mural and this video is an ad addendum to the main video I posted making this mural. I don't know what it is. Is it love? I'm getting lots of love on the street. But just uh, that tells you how graffiti and sweet art, how they are so removed from each other these days, especially when you paint premium spots in London. I'm going to fix it. I don't know who that is, but in all essence, and again, I'm not taking it personally as such, but I just find it super confusing because I thought we were playing on the same team. For a person who tags, right? They must have a little understanding, at least, like a minuscule, tiny, bitsy, itsy piece of understanding that these things take a while. Then just destroying it with a tag, it doesn't make sense. If you want to take it on me, you know, this is the wrong team, man. You know, use that energy against the totalitarian fucking communist, you know, agenda that's being developed here across the world during these C word shambles. But don't take it on me. Right, this spot is also notorious for posters. What I missed last time, spatula. So I'm going to get rid of this paper. There you go, nice and easy. From the previous video, um, you might have noticed, obviously, that this spot was out of bounds for me as there were some uh, advertisements here for the local shop. But as you can see, the owner of the shop, since the last time I painted here, has changed and it will be a different establishment here. The pro tip for today in this video is that to maintain your long-term spots, premium spots in your city, you need to quite quickly fix them up so that the owner of this establishment is happy and they always can count on you. You clean it up, maintain your spots. Oh, Shay, <laughs> come on. Ooh, ooh. Hang on, there you go. So this is the, what was beneath. By the way, it's no longer valid. And also over here, you can see the origami star I painted the very first time I had this spot three years ago. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always helpful that you have the original paint from the piece you are fixing. So I don't have a tray, so I'm going to dab it like here, like so. Because the tag is pink, what I'm doing is I'm brushing it in first, just to cover it, because I think roller won't cover it so evenly. And now I can simply even it out with the roller. I think the most difficult part to fix it would be this transition in the background, but it is what it is. I just need to go for it and hope for the best. Right, since the ads are gone and I can paint on this space, which I initially couldn't, it would be just a waste of time and effort to come here and not to add something to this piece. So that's what I'm going to do. So the problem with this spot is, the reason it gets tagged so often is probably me leaving here lots of negative space, which is super inviting for taggers. Let's fix the background now. So in an hour, you'll be dark, and now it's a point of sacrificing a bit of an outcome. This is semi-dry, but I need to start dusting it with uh, initial background color. Also, I remember the colors I used for this background roughly, so it's not ideal, but hey, 
trying to put second life in this piece. Right, so I finished fixing the mural. Uh, today's video was all about giving you guys some um, understanding behind why it is important to fix your own spots uh, as soon as possible. So hopefully this video was of a great value for you guys. Um, and in the end, uh, this mural ended up as I initially uh, wanted it to be. However, I was stopped by those horrible signs uh, that were here two weeks ago. Make sure you watch the full video of me painting the mural from the very beginning. Otherwise, subscribe to my channel not to miss new videos like this and more paper adventures in origami. My name is Ebo Mark, origami riot, folding all day, every day, and I'm out. <laughs>